Hi, I'm Kenny Reardon, the Guitar Whisperer, and this is a Taylor Sound tip of the day. A lot of you have tremolos, like this Fender Stratocaster here, and you found out that uh, when you use it, uh, the guitar goes out of tune a lot. Well, there are two choices for, for an out of tune guitar. First of all, decide if you're really going to use this tremolo, and if you are, uh, then it should be brought in for a proper setup to make it stay in tune. But if you're not going to use it, and a lot of them don't, people who buy, especially you beginners who've just bought guitars and have one on it, you might consider locking it down. And what that means is to make this part of the tremolo okay. immovable, so it's right decked against the body. To do that, we turn it around, we take off the cover of the cavity, and right in between the wood and this part, which is called the block, we glue a piece of wood in here, or otherwise material, to hold the block at this particular place. Or, the other way to do it is merely tighten these screws all the way in. This will pull the block forward, and this will, in essence, lock the block down too. The best way to do it I don't, that I recommend is to go ahead and build a, a block in here. So that, so that the tremolo can only, uh, it cannot be pushed up or down. It's totally locked. Now when you do this, you're gonna change the height of this and you may have to reset your bridge and everything, but it's an easy thing to do and a lot of people don't realize that you can block the bridge down and you can make your inexpensive strats stay in tune better by merely blocking the bridge down and doing the stringing tips that I've given you. Uh, if you have any questions on this, just come and see us here at uh, Taylor Sound and Video, The Guitar Whisperer. Blocking the tremolo solves one other problem that a lot of you have on a Stratocaster type guitar. If I play the big E string, but I bend the G string at the same time I play the big E, it goes down in pitch. Now the problem with that is when you do double stop licks, you've got to either bend to compensate or what some of the pros do, slightly push down on the bridge. Locking the tremolo down or decking it, as I mentioned, completely 100% solves that problem. There are other solutions if you need the, the tremolo to float like this and stay in tune with those, but that'll be for another video.